let's discuss why everyone should watch the TV programming while they're staying on the MSC Meraviglia. Hello everyone, my name is Fatima Mahmoud. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Why am I making these videos about the MSC Meraviglia when there are so many others out there? Click on the link below to watch my video explaining my reasons. You'll find this TV um, in your room, and this is one of the standard channels. Right here, I wanted to, do, to introduce the cruise director, uh, Sarah, who does currently uh, come on for this program, Good Day Meraviglia. So your TV in your stateroom or cabin will appear like a smart TV, except that it's not touchscreen. And here on the left column or the left panel, you'll see you have different language options. The announcements will be in English, but they'll have subtitles in these various languages. And here are your options menus for different things you can see on what is currently channel four so that you can have a better understanding of what's going on in the ship. Right now, this is an image of the electronic or digital muster drill or compulsory safety demonstration. When I entered my cabin for the first time, the steward had left the TV on and it was set to autoplay and recurringly play the muster drill over and over again while I was unpacking. And I just hadn't bothered to find the remote and turn it off. Here's what it looks like when the muster drill is going on and you're looking at subtitles in a non-English language. Here's a better view down here of uh, things you can see that go beyond the muster drill, which is um, general cruise information, more cruise information, and future cruise and MSC Voyagers Club information. I'm I didn't check these out, but I'm assuming these are videos as well. So in the intro to the program, you'll see Sarah come on um, and introduce herself. She'll sometimes have guest speakers uh, or guest presenters join her, like this person. This is Imad, and his title here is Crew Staff Manager, but you'll see him at, at the time of this recording. He was head of the activities team and at the late evening parties, things that involved dancing, music, and having the activity team members present interacting with the passengers, he was also there overseeing those activities. What I also liked about Channel 4 and the MSC section of the smart TV is you can have maps like this um, and see the route and see other information in case you particularly like nautical information. And here it says how, so far how much we've cruised. Again, if you're interested in those kind of details, great for you. Here's another option down by channel 25 presently to see the virtual portholes in case you're interested. Some YouTubers have said there's not much TV available, not many shows or programming or channels available. Um, so from 16 to 22, here are listed some channels that are very popularly known, actually 16 to 24 seems to be popularly known channels at least in the US. And over here you can see channel 26, the last one is the disembarkation information. That's also a vis visual presentation, in addition to being papers that you receive in your cabin. So right now this day is when we were at Ocean K and they were gonna let us off the ship. So even though it's not a full disembarkation, when you're completely leaving the ship, it was still called disembarkation. I saw this big screen and I saw this image in different venues around the ship indicating where you would leave from. But then I realized it was also on the TV. So if you missed it on the hallways or in the activity spaces or the more public spaces, you at least see in your room that this is where, this is where you would go to leave. Uh, again, as I mentioned in another video, there weren't these announcements all the time. So this is another way that you would have access to the information about where to leave from. But if you weren't watching this channel and you weren't watching the TV, then you wouldn't know to look here. Here's another video that I was waiting for, but it just seemed to not come up. But hopefully in the future, I'll be able to uh, understand what this person was going to say. 
So I made a mistake of not watching this program on a daily basis, and I hope that next time I'll be better at that, and I encourage everyone to check in at least once a day when you're in your cabin briefly or when you wake up to check in with the program. It seems that it is released at 6 a.m., you know, so hats off to all the people who get it ready every day by 6 a.m. So please watch. Just remember that the information I provided is subject to change based on the ship you're cruising on, the season, the port or the location of the cruise, and external circumstances such as weather and health crises. Thank you for watching my video. I'd love to hear from you on email at fmahmood at wellesley.edu. You can also find me on LinkedIn at that address. And if you do send me a connection request, please go ahead and send me a note. Before you go, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And please go ahead and watch my next video. Thank you.